Good morning, brothers and sisters. Shehat na kuchit hone. Na in kitiki doin da di in gat ba na da hui nito di binike. Ado hui egu shi hone di in gat ba za bi gito. Nihich de hanado tze. Ado shi et so dilzen. Ado an neto di in gat ba za bi gito ne dene e epit. Bets ado at zil hullo. In da tze de ko in nant e chant no. Digin ka baza pa ka a shehet la na khatso da toh zeniki in da kone de nenda tzi to khatash enda at le o di egon shiltahan ne a shehet la kone to okho di zeko tso til zeniki so de yego eba a sheta ni tzen kodo e tzil a nil tzko hone ben nachit ni tzo de zendan lini betas ni shi Psalms 91 that has been the foundation of this church since this pandemic began. And so this is still our stronghold in the Lord. Don't forget, pray that script, uh, chapter every night for yourself, your children, for everybody across this nation, the world, because the world is going through a trial right now. So that's what I want to encourage you with so uh, my sister Amy and sister Chantel are going to be singing some songs for you this morning I give all the praises to my mighty God that answers our prayer in Jesus name amen thank you Jesus yeah. just over in the glory then I've a home prepared where the saints abide Just over in the glory land Where I long to be by my Savior's side Just over in the glory land Just over in the glory land I'll join a happy just over in the glory land Just over in the glory land There with the mighty host I'll stand Just over in the glory land I am on my way to those mansions where Just over in the glory And his glory share just over in the glory land, just over in the glory land. All joy, the happy angels band, just over in the glory land, just over in the glory land. Yeah. 
Good morning. Let's see what the Word of God says or what God says this morning. Je Jesus, the mighty God, He made us free. Our lesson made free. And we must understand the price of freedom. The price of freedom is always high. The freedom that we enjoy in the, in the United States, it costs high. There were some lives that were given up so we can have this freedom to worship God, to speak our mind any way we want to. And here, Jesus, he set us free from our sins, set us free from being a slave to Satan. Jesus, he secured our salvation. Our salvation from sin. We should live for him. Strengthen our relationship with him and live a life of righteousness. Jesus, he made us free. We must remember it. But let's open this service with prayer. My Lord, my God, the glory, the honor, we give you this morning, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for the prayers you have answered, for the prayers that you said no to, and for the prayers that you said, wait. 
Yes, my God, we give you the glory, the honor, as you speak to us this morning, Lord God. Jesus, in your name we ask. Amen. Made free. Jesus died for us so we could live free from the penalty of sin. Let's read John 19, verse 30. When Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Now let's read John 19, chapter 19, verses 28 to 30. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things are now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon a hyssop and put it to his mouth. When Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Now let's read Romans chapter 6, verses 17 to 23. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servant of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as we have yield your members servants to uncleanliness and to iniquity unto iniquity. Even so, now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. For when we were of the servants of sin, ye were freed from righteousness. What the what fruit had ye then in those things, whereof ye are now ashamed? To the end of those things is death. But now, being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are made free. Jesus, the only perfect man that ever lived, died for us. Jesus, when he died, he provided forgiveness of sin. Jesus became our substitute on the cross. Even though he didn't commit any sin. So he reeked Consell sinners with the fathers. And as you read the scripture, you realize when he gave up the ghost, when he said it is finished, he did what God, the Holy Spirit, had sent him to do. He redeemed people from their sin. He redeemed them from Satan 
And also, we think Jesus, he is the one that saved each one of us, set us free. Free from spiritual darkness. As we read about Jesus, how there were there was darkness that overcome the world, and there was earthquake. That's when it was revealed through Jesus when he died that mankind were living in spiritual darkness. And their doctrine, their religion, was as earthquakes. It moves. So in the spiritual darkness, they can't see. And when that happened to them, what was spiritual became carnal. They experienced it, the darkness. All the hypocrites, the religious system, were revealed because of this darkness and this earthquake. So here Jesus, he died to redeem, set us free from being a slave to Satan and sin. Just as the people of Israel, when they left Egypt, yes, they were let go. Yes, they received their blessing. How the Egyptians gave them gold, silver, and all that. But in the mind of Satan, in the mind of Pharaoh, the Hebrew people were just a runaway slaves. They were not free. Until they went into the Red Sea. They were baptized in the Red Sea. So they went in. And as you, they were baptized. And when they came out on the other side, then they were truly set free. They were made free. We have to experience this. Many of us, we don't get ourselves baptized and we say, I'm free. But we battle our old way of life, of how we live our life as being a slave to Satan and to sin. We are always battling it. That's the flesh. We like to hang out with other people. We miss churches. But we still say, I'm a Christian. We, were, we are like the runaway slaves. We are not free because Satan's still after us. If you read about Moses, the Red Sea, how the people of Israel went on the other side, went out on the other side, and Pharaoh and his army went in after them. But as the last Hebrew stepped out of the Red Sea, the water came back together and washed, washed the sins the old habits, 
the old friends that always lead us astray. The water washed it away. There were no more Pharaoh, no more soldiers of Pharaoh. They were set free, truly, when they were on the other side. Therefore, Apostle P uh, Peter said, we are not, we are saved by baptism. So the Red Sea, the water, set the Hebrew people free. Okay, so Jesus, in remembering it, hanging on the cross, he said, it is finished. And he, you could look at him again. When he was 12 years old, standing in the temple, teaching and questioning the elders, the doctors, the Pharisees. His mother, his father came and told him, where were you? We were looking all over for you. Three days. Jesus turned around and looked at his parents and he said, I was about my father's business. So when he was hanging on the cross, when he said it is finished, he finished his father's business. Amen. Hallelujah. The religious system, spiritual darkness. There's no truth in it. Only man's standards, man's doctrine. If you belong to a certain denominational churches, they're going to teach you and tell you, just teach this. That's it. There are others, they don't believe in the Holy Ghost. They said it was for a time back 2,000 years ago, only for the apostle. And they turn right around and they say, oh, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The reason is they don't know that Jesus is God. That God is a spirit. He cannot be seen by man. And he is holy. So that makes him the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the fullness of the Godhead was in Jesus. So Jesus was God manifested in the flesh and he walked upon the earth so he can set us free. It's because that he loved us. He loved each humanity. And he, Jesus himself said, if only man would repent of their sins. Amen. Repent of your sin to be set free from sin and Satan. Repent. Turn the other way. Turn back to God. Yes, today the gospel is another one that the Christian people are preaching. Another gospel. He said, the, the scripture said, if the man teaches another gospel, if an angel from heaven comes down, teaches another gospel, 
Let him be a curse. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, man's standards. Many of us were following it. Man's standard is no relationship with God, the true God. We don't know him. We separate them. We say God the Father over here, God the Son over here, God the Holy Ghost. And we pray, thank you God, thank you God for sending your Son to this world. You are serving two gods. There is only one true God, and he set us free. So he, everything about his father's business, the Holy Spirit, God, he accomplished it. He finished it. And the scriptures were fulfilled. Jesus himself, he says, the scriptures, they speak of me. They speak of me fulfilling the scriptures. And he says, I thirst. I thirst. I give you living water. What are you going to give me? I gave you living water. Now I thirst. What's man religion? Spiritual darkness. What are they going to give me to satisfy my thirst? He says, I thirst. And the people look around. They saw a, a bucket of sour wine, vinegar. So they put a, a stab, a high sob in it and raise it to his mouth. Think of it. Think of this. God. Jesus gave you living water. Today, what are you giving him when he questions you? I thirst. I thirst. I gave you eternal life. What are you going to give me? That's man's answer. Man's answer, a sour wine, a vinegar. Amen. Hallelujah. He received the vinegar. And he said, it is finished. Ye the wine, the cousin. Yes, 
his spirit that was in him. Amen. He gave up the ghost. As you can picture this, picture the cross with Jesus on it. How do we worship him? If he make you free from Satan, being the slave to Satan and from sin, how do you worship him? Remember, faith without works is dead. Some of us, we say we have faith. But we don't love. As Apostle Paul said, you can move mountain with your faith. But if you don't have love, you have nothing. When, you're ma- when we are made free, we should be able to worship God. When to worship God, when to praise Him. Jesus said, ask the Father in my name. God. Pitch so Worship means praying to God, having a conversation with God. That's prayer. So the Zen Edian God, but it now just the Yin God, but it's it and you are offering your love to God. Where you are the in God, but you go, could you not me? Amen. If we are saved, we're going to do that. If we are free, we're going to do that. But many, Always pray, give me, give me, give me. They're not set free. Amen. We show our love for God with gratitude when we worship Him. That shows we are made free. To have a relationship with God. Begin God. Ahanako. Bechecheda hunil zendo. Here Apostle Paul is saying that. O tlane tanos. Tlap tatofne. Ntenilchi kachoko. Toni hispeta hozenda. Yes, you proclaim you're Christian. But you have no spiritual understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. You understand with your spirit, your heart, 
the doctrine, the apostolic doctrine. Amen? If we can understand this doctrine of the apostolic, we would be truly made free. But we don't understand it because we are not set free from sin. Amen. Hallelujah. We supposed to be free from sin and be the servants of righteousness. And he says what? Uh, speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. He's talking to the church, the congregation, the Romans, Christian. He says, you're still in carnality. Amen. He says, for as ye have yield your members, servants, to uncleanliness. Tachini. Tachini. Banala, I don't know, son. You're the servants of uncleanliness. Amen. And to iniquity and into iniquity. Tachin bahi. Epe bahaki eta ego. Bahaki eta ni. Amen. Hallelujah. Even so, he says, become a servant to righteousness unto holiness. He says, for when you were servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. They didn't know righteousness. He says he's a Christian, but he doesn't understand righteousness. And then he says what? What fruit had ye then? In those things whereof you are now ashamed. When 
when you were in sin and you produced your fruit, what does your fruit look like? Are you ashamed? Amen. Are you ashamed? Because the end of those things, it's death. Ebe na hodolji e inne. Don't be in the world. Don't be stuck in the world. That's death. Amen. Hallelujah. I mentioned it a while ago. I said the Israelite people, they were a runaway slave. Pharaoh still owes them. Sin still hunting them. Amen. In the end of these things, there is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God. Ye have your fruit unto holiness. And the end everlasting life. And here in verse 23, he says, For the wages of sin is death. Ye hat int or lechliki e inne nila. But the gift of God, the yin God, ye nechadzito, nechadzito bachliki e ya, is eternal life. Hol ago inna, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus Christ in Hipoholni Benakagon Nila Hol Ago in Dadadilie. We will receive eternal life. Amen. So when Jesus sets us free, we can worship Him. Worship him without blemish. Approach him in holiness and truth in his throne room. If we are made free, we won't be afraid to step into the throne room of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. Amen. Hallelujah. So our worship must be without blemish. No sin. Hidden sin. Amen. Worship God with our whole being. Spiritually, physically, worship God. Speak with him. Talk to him. Communicate with him. He invites us. He says, come. Let us reason together. Let us reason together about your sin. I can make your sin wider. Then wool. 
Arraskai belati, se nekkoi ku önendistli. Kaisa hoko, pa jädiltki, kui? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Come, your whole being. Your whole being, get into the throne room of God. Amen. To be set free, we must understand the Lamb of God has to die. God, but the Bayaja, be ina and Okay, so uh, to be set free, we must repent of our sins. Repent, die to sin. Just as Jesus died on the cross. And we get baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of our sin, just as Jesus was buried in the tomb. Amen. And we receive the gift of the Holy Ghost because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. The lamb had to die. The lamb said, it is finished. It is finished. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Ghost in us must ever be burning. If we say we have the Holy Ghost, it must be ever be burning. Be burning in us. Speaking in the Holy Ghost in tongues. Not just when we come to church. Not just when we go to a conference. We can do it. Speak in tongue the Holy Ghost when we step into the throne room of God. A throne room of grace. Obtain mercy. Speaking in tongue in the Holy Ghost. Amen. We must keep it burning. We must be on fire. You have heard that expression among Christianity. Oh, I'm on fire. And you turn around and say, you don't need the Holy Ghost. Yes. If the Holy Ghost is burning in you, There's God in you. Jesus is his name. He's in you. And he speaks and says, Obey my word. Forget not the assembly. Forget not Going to church. That's what he's saying. Forget not going to a church service. Because if you are truly set free, you will be in a church service. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank God. That he set me free. Amen. Hallelujah. Thus is the altar in the Old Testament. A tabernacle. 
in the wilderness. A lamb has to die for people's sin. Can we move ahead? It's just not the death of the lamb, but it's his blood. The blood had to be sprinkled on the mercy seat to move the people's sin one year ahead during the tabernacle days. But Jesus forever went into heaven, sprinkled his blood on the mercy seat in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Now he's involved in the last days, the timeline. The seals, the seven seals, the seven trumpets, and the seven vials. We have been getting into it. The 70 week of Daniel. Because there's power in the blood of the Lamb. Power in the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 5 and 6 says, And behold, and lo, in the midst of the, of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a Lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns, and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth unto all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of orders, which are the prayers of the saints. Amen. Hallelujah. This is what our members of Ecclesia Apostolic Church, the sisters, are doing. They have a prayer group of prayer warriors. And when they pray, just as the scripture says here, the golden vial full of orders, which are the prayers of the saints. And people have been requesting prayer to the sisters. And they've been praying and they getting they are getting results people's prayers are getting answered because of the sisters that are made free they understand the spiritual teaching of the word of god that they understand that there is one god Amen. The foundational truth of the gospel. Because they believe the Lamb, Jesus, died and he answers prayer by his stripes you were healed. His blood wash our sins away. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. If you need prayer, let's pray with me. Let's worship God. 
My Lord, my God, as you have spoken to us, that if we are, if we are truly free, that we can come boldly into your throne room of grace and obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. Yes, my God, Jesus, today there are people out in the world that needs you. Today, my God, they need salvation. They need healing. Yes, Jesus, they need financial blessing, Lord God. Jesus, Jesus, in your name, my God, as your children pray to you, you told them just now that I can smell, I can smell your prayers. Yes, Jesus, and I'll answer it. Yes, Jesus, Jesus, they are truly set free. Yes, my God, Jesus, we give you the glory, we give you the honor, Lord Jesus, as you strengthen our relationship with you, Lord God. And yes, my God, Jesus, we will not be like the Pharisees, the scribes, Oh, yes, my God, we open our understanding spiritually, Lord Jesus. Jesus, yes, my God, open our understanding, the oneness of you, Lord God. Jesus, in your name we ask, amen and amen.